Hi, my name is Dr. Scott Gensner of the Dermatology Center of Indiana. Our topic in dermatology today is eczema. Eczema is a family of diseases that is primarily characterized by scaly, red, itchy, crusted, and many times oozing skin in its early stages, but over time progresses to more dry, thickened brown skin. Atopic dermatitis is one subset of eczema that occurs typically starting in infancy and can plague patients for many years and in many times the rest of their lives. Eczema, primarily as we described, can be very frustrating for patients. Many times when it occurs as atopic dermatitis, it occurs in young infants, can occur over the areas of the elbows, knees, in addition to other areas such as the head, neck, and trunk. Eczema can present as itchy, dry, red skin, and many times can be associated in atopic dermatitis with other diseases such as asthma, seasonal allergies, or hay fever. One of the most common conditions that can occur in eczema is a secondary infection. Many times yellow crust areas will appear that can spread to other locations in the skin in what's called an id or hypersensitivity reaction. Ensuring that patients don't have other associated diseases through adequate evaluation by a primary care provider or specialist can be helpful. Dermatologists are the main individual that will take care of patients with eczema or atopic dermatitis. The cornerstone of therapy for eczema and atopic dermatitis is good moisturization. Ensuring that patients have good moisturization of the skin, following a shower or bath, leaving water on the skin, and sealing in that moisture with a good moisturizing cream or ointment is vital. During the day, shall patients seem that their skin is getting dry, reapplication of the moisturizer is extremely important. Many times, corticosteroids topically put on the skin are the primary therapy of choice for most dermatologists. There are different strengths of, prime, of corticosteroids and they can be used in different areas of the body with lower potency or weaker steroids such as desinide ointment being used on the face or growing area while stronger steroids such as clobetazole ointment can be used on the body or extremities. In addition, there are new topical immunomodulators such as tacrolimus ointment or pomecrolimus ointment that can be used as well for long-term maintenance with intermittent use being recommended by the FDA. Sometimes systemic steroids and or other medications such as Emuran or other oral systemic agents, although at higher risk, can be necessary to control the atopic dermatitis or eczema. Seeing a dermatologist to ensure complete evaluation and appropriate care is extremely important for patients. Thank you for your attention. Should you need more information regarding the conditions, treatments, and other procedures performed by the Dermatology Center of Indiana, please visit our website at dermindy.com.